My name is Caroline Kemp. I went to Northwestern and graduated in 2008, and I currently work at Spencer Stewart, which is an executive search firm supporting the education, nonprofit, and government practice. When I started at Northwestern University in fall 2004, I got to campus and was really excited and over eager and trying to figure out ways to be involved and I'd been really lucky to have a lot of amazing international experiences when I was younger and heard that they were starting a chapter of Americans for Informed Democracy on campus. So I went to the first meeting which was on um, U.S. Muslim relations and, and really wanted to be involved so contacted the person there and was able to be involved right from the beginning at Northwestern and uh, really loved that opportunity. Well, I worked uh, in the summer after my freshman year, I worked as one of the first interns for AID in their New Haven office. And it was great because the, the organization was just starting to become more national. They were really expanding to more college campuses. Um, we organized a big, a couple of big conferences over that summer, and so it really felt like that was the summer that that AIDS started to figure out where it was going, um, started to get more of a national reputation, and I love the opportunity to meet all of the other students who were getting involved because they had such interesting stories, and it was exciting to see them get inspired by all that AIDS could do. I think that working with AID made me feel very connected globally. Um, I really had the opportunity to learn more about global issues that I wouldn't necessarily have been able to engage with otherwise. Um, I loved being able to bring speakers to campus and meet a lot of students at Northwestern as a result of that. Uh, I was able to go overseas for study abroad and also to work and I think that working for aid helped me feel comfortable doing that and made me feel like that was a really important experience to have. So overall I think it just made me expand my horizons a lot more and understand that I didn't want to just go have the same viewpoint. I wanted to be able to uh, talk with people who had different viewpoints and really share those viewpoints um, more globally. I think the major thing that AID does really well and that I would say is its strong point is it brings very different people together. I like that AID doesn't try to force you to feel one way. It brings people into a room and has lots of different viewpoints expressed and helps people who maybe haven't ever thought about that topic before really have a chance to figure out what's going on and make their own decision. So I think that's a great way to start the conversation. Um, just making sure you're not alienating people from the beginning, but getting everybody together and saying, what do you know? What could you learn more about? Where should we be going? What are your ideas? So really trying to help people actually start thinking about these issues rather than making them feel like it's something they can't even engage with because they're just so clueless. It helps them get that first step into becoming more active citizens. the power to influence a lot of different things. Um, I think that when you are young, you forget that the people who you're seeing in Congress or leading all of these different nonprofit and for-profit organizations were once in your position. And I think people will listen to you more than you think. Um, there are a lot of people who are set in their ways, but there are also a lot of people who really respect that when you're young, this is when you start to come up with those great ideas that are going to change the world. So I think having an organization like AID where you get all those people in a room and you help them connect with people who are in positions of power, you can really create a new momentum for change because you help people who are older remember what it was like to be young and fresh and excited about things and you help people who are younger understand how they're going to make a difference. Something that's really important for me is helping 
people who live in other countries and people who live in the U.S. have more opportunities to speak with one another. I think that in the U.S., because it's such a globalized world now, more people are having the opportunity to go overseas or uh, have friends who are in different countries. But I think that can, can more can be done in that. And I think with technology these days, you really can connect people in a way that wasn't possible before. Um, and I know from having experiences overseas that a lot of people really haven't had the chance to talk with Americans. And so it's really wonderful to be able to sit down with people and understand where they're coming from and they get to know you and understand where you're coming from. So I hope that we continue to expand those opportunities for students, especially um, in 2021.